Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So yes, I am back in my usual location. I had a wonderful time in LA these past few days. So anyways, I wanted to come on here and spill some tea because I know it's been a while since I've done some commentary. I will be posting up videos and everything that we got into in LA. I'll be posting that later on tonight, but right now it's time to spill some damn tea, okay? So I hope you guys have your teacups ready. So anyways, if you guys don't know, we spoke about this on Instagram the other day. The Kardashians are once again milking this entire Tristan Tom Thompson, Jordan Wood situation. So the same day as the BET Awards, the Kardashians also premiered their new season. And of course, this season is talking about the whole Tristan Thompson cheating with Jordan Wood situation. And in the videos that are going viral on social media, you see all the Kardashian sisters sitting around having a roundtable discussion about, you know, Jordan Woods and how foul she is. But like I said on Instagram, what I find really funny is this. I wonder if they had the same sit down roundtable discussion when Kylie Jenner was fucking Tiger, who was with Black China, who was Kim Kardashian's then best friend. I wonder if they sat her around and talked about how wrong she was for getting involved with somebody who was in a relationship and who was also really good friends with Kim, okay? So I find that really funny. So then another video came out and basically they're once again talking. Kim is insinuating that basically Jordan should be happy. She'd have nothing if it wasn't for them. She's able to feed her entire family because of, you know, Kylie and her connection to the Kardashians, which I also find very insulting because one, let's not forget Jordan Woods is not some, you know, chick from Inglewood. This young woman already had ties in the industry. Her father was a cameraman on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He was very close to Will Smith, so much so that the Smiths claim Jordan Woods as their goddaughter, okay? So for Jordan Woods to be in a place where she can even meet a Kylie Jenner, she had to be more of the upper echelon. So let's not act like you guys did her a favor. Also, let's not forget that her mother is Elizabeth Woods, who is also a PR. She's a manager. She's well known in Hollywood. So Jordan Woods has never wanted for anything. She would be fine with or without her friendship with Kylie Jenner. So I'm tired of that narrative being spun that Jordan Woods is just some broke ass chick that was attached to Kylie's hip who wouldn't have shit if it wasn't for the Kardashians. That is all the way false, okay? Another thing that went viral with this whole Kardashian situation is that basically Chloe was saying that Tristan Thompson threatened to harm himself, okay? We can't, you know, use the S word on YouTube. But basically, he threatened to harm himself, you know, because Chloe wanted to leave him, he made a mistake. And then in that video, you see Lord Desick, AKA Scott, honey, basically saying, you know, how kind Chloe is, even though she's been cheated on and she's going through all this, you know, she still has a big heart. She's more concerned about Tristan's well-being. Honey, they are really milking this shit, okay? How you doing? Anyways, y'all go ahead and check out these clips and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Oh, so I'm just allowed to say I'm going to kill myself at and any time. That's crazy. That's not fair. He's the one that messed up, not you. Oh. Don't make it harder on you. Chloe Kardashian reveals Tristan Thompson expressed suicidal thoughts after the cheating scandal with Kylie's BFF Jordan Woods came to light. The fact that Chloe is sitting here heartbroken but still worrying about Tristan's feelings and the possibilities of him being upset or possibly hurting himself. I mean, it just goes to show that Chloe is an unbelievable person. On part one of the two part season finale of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Chloe says her ex was texting her apologies, saying he felt so bad about what he did that he may hurt himself. He's okay. So I get to the house and his door's locked. I try to bang on the door. I'm like, open the door. He's like, I'm good. I'm like, yo, so why is Chloe saying that you're trying to like kill yourself? He's like, I'm good. And then I'm like, do you need anything? He's like, no. I'm like, I just call me if anything. I just. Do you think he's gonna hurt himself? I know. Tristan's admission was just the tip of the iceberg, as Coco thought she may be pregnant just days before the drama unfolded, after suffering major migraines. Genuinely, I cannot believe it. Not pregnant. Not guys. pregnant. Why the f am I nauseous all the time? I almost wish I was so I could just say that's why I'm nauseous. I think that if she was just to, you know, settle down and not have all these stressful situations coming at her one after another, she probably wouldn't have these migraines. 
The episode showed the whole family reacting to the makeout that allegedly went down at an Airbnb during the NBA All-Star Weekend in Los Angeles. So Jordan said that they did make out. Wow. Like, I'm just honest. I don't know. I'm literally, like, shaking. Kylie, she provides for her whole family off of what you have given her. If she would do this to one of us, she would do the same thing to Kylie. We also learned what Jordan allegedly told Chloe after it all went down. So Jordan so called weird. me and said, I was your watchdog last night, and she was there to protect me and keep an eye out. That's why she stayed as late as she did. But Jordan never once has Jordan said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jordan anticipated how the episode would play out when she spoke with E.T. last week. What would you think when you saw that? You know, everyone has their truth and their story, and so you just go with, go with it. Everyone has the right to speak their truth. Don't disappoint me. What have I ever? The 21-year-old model admitted she's moving on and hopes everyone involved can do the same. Life moves on. Money doesn't stop, world doesn't stop, and hopefully everyone is just, you know, going forward. Hopefully the sky's the limit to trying new things, getting into acting. I have my activewear line, more designing, and just really moving forward and keeping positive people around me. Life is short, you know, tomorrow is not promised. All right, honey, so y'all just saw those clips. Now I will say this, in my personal opinion, Tristan Thompson is a damn narcissist, okay? And he is a master manipulator. But Chloe nor her sisters, except for Courtney, bitch, because I ain't heard nothing about Courtney, okay? These girls are not innocent. I, and I just hate this whole persona that they're trying to put out there. Like, you know, oh, poor Chloe. She was cheated on when she was pregnant. Oh, poor Chloe. She was cheated on again by Kylie Jenner's friend. Oh, Chloe's been through it. Okay, but Chloe's not innocent herself. Let's not forget, she was the other woman when Tristan Thompson had had his other baby's mother, Jordan Craig, pregnant. She had no problem messing with him when he was in relationship. She claims that she didn't know, but she damn well knew because even Tristan Thompson's father was on social media blasting him and Khloe Kardashian and telling Tristan Thompson to take his ass back home to his baby's mother who was pregnant at the time, okay? So Khloe definitely knew she saw the backlash, but she didn't care because it's the same woman who was hanging out with Trina, running the streets with her, but then in the same breath, plotting to take French Montana away from Trina, dumb move French Montana in with her when French Montana was Trina's living boyfriend. So Chloe has done other women wrong as well. Just like him, before she got with Kanye West and had all these dang on kids with him, Kanye West was with Amber Rose, okay? And Consequence and Jen the Pen put all that out. You guys can go watch my old videos. I've broken that down, okay? And then we all know about Kylie and Tyga. So none of these women are innocent, including Jordan Woods. I'm not gonna say that Jordan's innocent in this. I'm tired of them dragging her, but she's not innocent because again, birds of a feather flock together and for many years Jordan Woods sat by and she watched other black women be disrespected by the Kardashians get their men snatched by the Kardashians and she was cool with it as long as she was in their inner circle okay so my thing is you can't be okay with other women going through heartbreak and going through things and you sit idly by but then I'm supposed to cry tattoo tears when these same women show you their true colors I don't feel bad for Jordan Woods either, but I am tired of them trying to use her for a storyline. I will keep that real, okay? So now today, there's more information coming out. Basically, Raider Online reached out to Tristan Thompson's camp, and Tristan Thompson is saying that what Chloe is saying on this show is lies, okay? He did not threaten to harm himself. That is not what he said. So I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys the article. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So this is what's being reported. Tristan is telling friends that he never actually talked S in the conversation with, reality TV, with his reality TV star, Baby Mama. RadarOnline.com exclusively reports. He says he told Chloe he did not want to live without her, but that didn't mean that he wanted to harm himself. A source told Radar, adding that the basketball pro is angry that she made those allegations. Honey. So once again, they are using this man and this situation for a storyline. They're trying to add more sauce. Now, I have heard of people threatening to harm themselves when they're backed into their corner and they're really upset and they don't know what else to do. That's nothing new. But what Tristan Thompson was saying in this situation, he was being a master manipulator like always, basically saying, I don't want to live without you. I want us to be a family. I want to be with you and my child and all that other stuff. That's what he meant when he was talking to Chloe. He did not mean that he was going to 
harm himself. But of course, she's going to spin it and add more sauce because why it's more ratings, it's more to add on to their storyline. So I'm not shocked at all. He should have learned from the Lamar Odom situation, okay? The way they were milking the shit out of that. You know what I'm saying? Blasting Lamar Odom. I mean, Lamar Odom, at the end of his relationship with Khloe Kardashian, he looked like he was going through it, okay? I'm so now I'm asking you. You're asking me. Right? You're asking me my opinion. You know I know Chloe, right? I know that you know Chloe. Right? Yeah, that, right. yeah, right. You know I know her. Right. Right? So how would you think I ended up there? I would think that there was some communication between you two. Okay, then. I couldn't even get f***ing hired by Home Depot right now. Bam. Because of how people look at me. Bam. It's over. If it happens again, I will air everything out. Nobody got followed. Nobody got hassled. Nobody got harassed. Nobody got grabbed on. None of that. None of, all you saying, all of that? None of that, okay. none of that didn't happen. Probably what's the most hurtful part is that I beat, I beat it to the punch. Tristan Thompson should have learned from that, that once you cross them, they're going to do their best to basically, you know what I'm saying, make you look bad in the media. I believe that that's what's happening to Jordan Woods as well. They want to basically sully her reputation. They want to make it where she can't make money, where she can't eat on her own, you know what I'm saying, to make a name for herself without the Kardashians. So why Khadijah, Malika, and all these other black girls who run behind the Kardashians, I hope you guys are taking notes because if they can turn on Jordan, you know what I'm saying, and blast her and use her for a storyline and constantly attack this young girl over and over again, what makes you think that you're gonna be exempt when you do something to piss them off, okay? So once again, I don't feel bad for any of the Kardashian Jenner sisters, you know, Courtney excluded, that's the only one I fool with, honey. Um, because again, you get what you put out there. And when you're out here creeping with other people's men's and you know, you're messing around with somebody who has a baby on the way and then you get the same treatment, I'm not about to cry not one damn tattoo tear for your ass, okay? So I don't feel bad for any of these damn people. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy situation, honey. Once again, concerning the Kardashian clan, basically adding more sauce to their storyline and Tristan Thompson coming out and saying, uh, no, bitch, I did not threaten to harm myself. I basically said I couldn't live without you. Stop trying to spin your own damn narrative. And then do you agree with me that they are trying their best to basically make Jordan Woods look really bad so that way she's not able to, you know, you know, flourish on her own, build her own brand. And do you also agree with me that these women all need to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up? Let's not forget the OG of the clan, the momager, Chris Jenner, was getting her back banged out in the hot tub by OJ Simpson. These were his words directly. He said, I fucked that bitch until she damn broke, okay? He was doing all of that while her husband and his damn wife were in the damn house. And who knows what the hell Robert Kardashian and Nicole Brown Simpson were doing at the damn time while OJ Simpson and Chris Jenner were getting it on in the damn hot tub, okay? OJ said he stood up. Pulled his shorts down. And he said her eyes, I give exactly what he said, he said her eyes bugged out of her head. And he said, I fucked that B until I, I broke her. <laughs> So it seems like these girls come from a long line of damn hoes, okay? So for them to be out here trying to play the victim and trying to twist stuff around, honey, bye. Any damn ways. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.